so the subject is strength of material and the first topic that we are going to take a look at is mechanical properties of material or simply properties of material okay the first question in front of us is ability of a material to resist its failure under the action of load is called as strength of material okay the strength of material the definition of the subject itself is saying that it is the ability of a material to resist its failure under the action of loads okay the material the object can withstand any kind of load such as tension is there or compression is there or bending is there or shear is there or torsion is there any kind of load if the property if the ability of the material is to resist it then it property that property is defined as the strength of material okay let's move to question number next then elasticity of a material enables it to okay what elasticity is regain its dimension upon load removal yes elasticity can be defined as when a object when an object is able to reassume its dimension when the externally applied load is removed that property is known as what elasticity okay the size the shape of the proper of or the dimension properties of the material are again received by the material when the loading upon it is removed okay then the second thing is saying second option is saying assume any desired shape no assuming any desired shape is not anywhere near to the property of elasticity okay the correct answer the correct definition of elasticity is here regain its dimension upon load removal okay let's go to question number next so fill in the blank property enables the body to resist elastic deformation under external load okay the answer is stiffness see stiffness is the property that makes the body able to resist any kind of elastic deformation under external load okay when tensile or compressive stress is there the degree of stiffness is defined by modulus of elasticity okay this degree of stiffness is called as modulus of elasticity when the loads acting on the body are tensile or compressive and in case the shear stress is acting on the body okay when the shear stress is acting on the body and the body is able to resist that deformation due to shear stress that stiffness will be called as what modulus of rigidity it will be known as modulus of rigidity okay in short what we saw about stiffness it is that property which makes the body able to resist elastic deformation under external load then fill in the blank can be termed as lack of elasticity okay see plasticity is termed as lack of elasticity okay now see what plasticity is when a body is loaded okay it goes permanent deformation okay it goes permanent deformation means it cannot regain its dimension it cannot regain its shape and size again when the loads are removed it is undergoing permanent deformation okay without any failure or rupture now this plasticity is opposite of elasticity that's why what we are saying it is lack or absence of elasticity okay then lack or absence of elast elastic property is equal to what presence of plasticity okay stiffness on the other hand is a resistance to elastic deformation all right it has nothing to do with lack of elasticity now action such as shaping is there forging is there stamping is there are possible only because of the plasticity property of a body all right so shall we go to next question okay then see many metals can be beaten up okay many metals can be beaten up to make sheets by virtue of okay the property that enables the metal or a subject or an object to get converted into sheet thin sheet okay when we are saying sheet then its area dimension will be more and its thickness will be its thickness will be very very less okay therefore the malleability property of a material mostly metals have this property this property enables 
a metal or object to get converted into thin sheet when they are being beaten up by hammer or any other machinery without any rupture without any fracture in them okay metals such as tin is there mild steel is there aluminum is there they can be converted into thin sheets okay malleability is the property okay let's go to question number next then copper can be drawn into wires by virtue of the property of what it is it is ductility ductile property ductility is the property by which a metal block can be drawn into wire can be converted into thin wire by using pressure or by applying tensile stress if you apply tensile stress on a copper material what it will get for example this is stage 1 of copper block then when you are applying tensile stresses on it it will get converted into a thin wire okay up to neck formation but even the neck formation point comes very very later it is very easily gets converted into wire okay copper and some else metals are also there that can be converted into wire by applying what tensile stress or by applying pressure okay let's go to question number next see fill in the blank causes a material to break directly without deformation is it toughness no toughness is resistance to pounding or impact or vibration hardness hardness is resistance to abrasive forces then is it rupture no it is not rupture then is it brittleness yes it is brittleness okay brittleness is the property of body that makes it fail without any prior warning no warning is given if the stress exceed the property the strength property of material then the item just fails okay it is just absence of ductility brittleness can be defined as absence of ductility okay in our reinforced concrete we are using reinforcement of steel okay before failure the steel section goes in ductile mode it doesn't fail directly on the other hand concrete fails directly because concrete is somewhat brittle as compared to steel that's why under reinforced sections are preferred where the failure of steel is seen and the failure of steel can be seen by observing the ductile deformation of steel that's why the brittleness is a property is defining the object that it is going to it is definitely going to fail without any prior symptom or without giving any warning all right let's go to question number next then hardness is defined as resistance to abrasion we just i think we just uttered vibration sorry hardness that it is resistance to abrasion abrasion means abrasive forces abrasive forces means which will be having some friction kind of action on the material and they will be causing wear and tear of that material okay hardness is the property that provides resistance to abrasive forces okay to wear and tear forces okay and we know that diamond is the hardest material available in nature okay diamond can be scratched okay a scratch can be formed on diamond by using another diamond only okay because it is too hard in more scale of hardness the diamond diamond has its most last place okay it is the hardest one in more scale of hardness then toughness of a body allows it to absorb impact okay toughness is defined as resistance to vibratory load okay resistance to vibration or resistance to pounding load pounding means impacting or resistance to impact okay toughness is the property of material which allows the body to withstand vibratory pounding or impacting kind of load such as load from machinery is there load of vehicle is there it is continuously changing and it is kind of putting some impact on the material okay now when you are going to heat some material which is having the property of toughness it is going to cause loss of toughness okay temperature increase in the material which is having good toughness property is going to cause reduction in that property all right let's go to question number next fatigue is also known as is it sustenance or durability no fatigue is known as 
एंड्यूरेंस ओके इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बॉडी दैट कैन रेजिस्ट फेल्यूअर अंडर रिपीटेड और फ्लक्चुएटिंग लोड ओके इट इज द रेजिस्टेंस टू वॉर्ड फेल्यूअर अंडर रिपीटेड और फ्लक्चुएटिंग लोडिंग ओके मेनी मशीन पार्ट हैव गुड फटी बिकॉज दे अंडर गो कंटिन्यूअस लोडिंग ओके दे हैव द लोड्स कंटिन्यूअसली अप्लाइड ओवर देम मेनी मशीन पार्ट ऑफ व्हीकल हैव नीड टू हैव गुड फटी और एंडुरेंस प्रॉपर्टी ओके दे कैन बियर दे कैन विस्टैंड द चेंजिंग लोड और कॉन्स्टेंट रिपीटेड लोड ओके फटिक इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वॉट एंडुरेंस then state whether the following statement is true or false creep is a time dependent phenomenon yes creep is a time dependent phenomenon because creep means what creep is the action of constant loading over a material okay now creep is what creep can be defined as continuous deformation of an object under steady loading for a long period of time okay when we are saying long period of time it it is clear that it is a time dependent phenomenon the continuous deformation ultimately cause failure of that object okay means when you are loading an object then the sudden failure may be something else it is it may be because of failure or loss of strength of material okay but when we are talking about a time dependent phenomenon such as let's say a decade is there two decade 50 year is there then because of the continuous load the object does not show direct deformation or direct breaking okay direct failure it is kind of a time bound phenomena that's why creep is a time dependent phenomena okay so that was all regarding properties of material in the next topic we are going to cover the kind of loading and the various types of body which are available in nature okay so till then bye bye have a good day